Hi, quilters. Today's show is all about new project ideas using the Go Sloth Dye. Stay tuned for plenty of cuddly and adorable inspiration. Hi, quilters. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilts Cutting Expert. And I'm Erica Bacher, AccuQuilts Creativity Expert. Welcome to today's lunch party called a sloth a day keeps the stress away. That's what we need, all that's, the stress that's away. That's what we all need. Today we are adding the Go Sloth dye to our permanent dye collection. That's right. We'll also be joined by special guest Brianna Roberts. I'm so excited to meet her. I am too. She is one of our new designers yes. and she's super cool. All right, we have plenty more in store as well where we have fun prizes, quick and easy project ideas, and a darling trunk show. But wait, there's more. We want to let you know that Pam and I are heading off on the road to do a very special live show next Tuesday. That's right. Next Tuesday show will be coming to you live from the Aero Sewing Cabinet Showroom in Elkhorn, Wisconsin. Since all of their products are now available on our website, they're going to take us and show us their great products to make comfortable and inspirational dream sewing studio. We can't wait. I am super excited. Oh, I am too. I just can see me on a little rolling chair back and forth <laughs> between all the things. I'm excited. That, you know what? And chairs are so important. I'm super excited to we see We had them. a whole conversation you and I did about we sewing did. chairs. We did. We did. We're also excited to see our new permanent Go Sloth Dye in action. Take it easy while quilting with the Go Sloth Dye. This cute applique dye comes with nine unique shapes to cut up to four layers of pre-fused cotton in any Go fabric cutter. Although these shapes are one of a kind for this dye, you can easily use them to create other adorable animals using a variety of materials, including wool, craft foam, and felt. Personalize these playful creatures using the free downloadable embroidery designs available on the AccuQuilt website. Pair this sweet sloth with compatible Go cubes and square dies to make whimsical wall hangings, snuggly throw quilts, precious pillows, and more. You don't have to work hard to create with this laid back animal because at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Love how the sloth is just hanging out. Just hanging out. Hanging out. Hanging out. Closers, this is such a fun applique dye and it's such a time saver because look, it cuts all of these little pieces like his paws and his cheeks and his nose and his eyes. Everything. All the tails and arms. All it's, the things. And does sloth have tails? No, it's no. the body. No, it's the body. But I also love that it's on a six by 12 die board. This yes. way it's gonna fit through all of your go cutters, including your go me. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, if they are strictly using applique shapes, almost all of our applique shapes are on these six inch wide dies, right? Right, so if you have a go me, you can use it. If you're a crafter, maybe you're looking for a project for your kids. But these are also kids. great shapes to do other things with. Mm -hmm. I mean. I have to think that we're going to come up with a million uses for just this little smile. Right, because it could be eyebrows. It could be eyebrows. It could be on so many other things. Maybe right. your gnome needs to smile. Right. Maybe Ooh, and look, flamingo a big needs exclamation smile. point. A big yes, ex and a, a nice Oh, circle. yeah. Okay, and this to me always looks like the otter's tail. Yes. So. Well, and people ask about ovals a lot. This is a great, the face is a great oval shape. It is an oval. Look at that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, but we're jumping a little ahead. So let's, um, shall we cut some out? Yes. Okay, today we've we, got some fabric over we, here. We are, um, we do. So we are using pre-fused cotton. Right. Because you can use other fabrics. Right. Lano so felt, denim wool. So we can do up to four layers of the pre-fused cotton because that fusible counts as half a layer. But like you said, craft foam, felt, wool, leather, I had some laid out, I forgot to bring it over, but we're gonna cut the cotton today. Okay. I'm... We had this brown batik, these 
boutiques, and I thought they they just screamed sloth to me. Sloth. That's how it sounded. Sloth. Okay, and look at this. And th right there, right there, those two, right? Yeah. And then okay. four you, paws. You and the Gibney were working on stuff. I have. We were. Mat. We were. All right. So uh, we have a six by twelve cutting mat. But again, if you just wanted to cut one of the shapes. It's only gonna cut where there's fabric oh, and a me. mat. Don't look, that's a secret for later. Oh, please don't look. Please don't look, nobody, nobody don't look notice. If it's on the camera. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. His name would be Greg. Okay. I'm just sitting here watching the go big work. <laughs> because you can, right? Because I can. All okay. right. And think about oh oh, oh I'm dragging leather and, dragging. and wool leather and wool leather so and many wool. fun shapes I mean I can you imagine just doing the little paws with the leather yeah. wouldn't that be cute um, and we carry leather and wool now on our website. we do and Erica I'm gonna give you a little scissors because sometimes quilters you get one little do you want your sloth to s to sit or to lay down I want my sloth to lay down because okay. in my quilting <laughs> that's what sloths do. Okay, and then We're pulling out all the pieces. Here's the little, or is this it go this way? It goes this way. Gosh, there's I don't little, know. Here we can look. Our little face. Oh, there we go. Look right here. I can see him. Our little face. Mm-hmm. Okay, I There's need little to leggings. Snip one thread over yeah, here. Yeah, so I was going to tell you, quilters. Sometimes with cotton, you end up with just snip. one little thread now, to snip. Now this is important because I almost put those leggies the wrong way. The fat part goes towards the body, just like all the rest of our legs. And then the skinny ankle part. I think sure there's down. four of these. There is four. I know, I know. They just are sticking together. Mm. Okay. Look at how cute he is. <laughs> okay. Absolutely too adorable. Okay. Well, these kind of slide underneath, don't they? Yeah, kind of. Okay, and then we're going to put the eyeballs on. Wait, here's oh, the wait, cheeks. There's you the, cheeks. the cheeks. And I put the eyeballs on the cheekies. Yes, 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 yes. Right? There's, there's one. There's two. And they, they're kind of directional. <laughs> they are directional, actually. So you do want to fan fold those cheeks, those little cheeky pieces. That's a great point. Eyeballs, they're so cute. Yeah, I love them. Okay. Okay. Okay, and we're just going to give them a smile. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you can have so much fun. And you don't have to have a brown sloth. You could have a pink sloth or a blue sloth. You what could. What color you want. You could. And again, great for craft foam. Um, there is sticky back craft foam. Oh. So you could build projects with your kids or your grandkids. Oh, that would be fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, the boys would love that. Yeah. Oh, the boys would love that. All right, but the two of us have had tons of fun with this dye, As but you can we, tell. I know, we have a special guest who's joining us Ew. today. She has some super creative things that she's made with the sloth dye. Her name is designer Brianna Roberts. That's right. I'm excited, Brianna is, Brianna is one of our newest designers. She is a pattern designer who designs quilts, bags, and home decor items. She is. She's been sewing since 2005, and she's enjoyed it ever since. Now, she draws inspiration from traveling, art, and design motifs. She taught high school science for many years and is drawn experience drawn from all of those experiences in her design process. I bet she can do math. <laughs> oh, I bet she can. Can you do math, Brianna? I can do math. Hey. Actually, that's one of the things that it's I draw from. a good thing you're part of this. Hi, Brianna. Background. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for inviting me, ladies. And I'm very excited about being here today. So. Okay, so before we talk about quiltines, um, tell, us, tell us about um, high school science. Did you teach high school or middle school? I taught middle school for two years, and then I taught high school science for 15, so. Oh, so you I, know, like, you go to the head of the heaven line, because she taught high school she for taught high school <laughs> and middle school. And math. Yes. I mean, and they science. are a bit squirrely. They are a bit squirrely, yes. but they're yes. fun. They're a it's lot a, of fun. That's a special skill. It is. They are. Well, we I know. physics and environmental science. Oh, physics? wow. 
She does super smart math. Yeah, she does. <laughs> She does. She's like my children. I know. Eric and, Eric and I, do we, we do like quarter inch math. We do quilt math. That's <laughs> we call it. it quilt math. That's it. Well, well you... I use a lot of quilt math now. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. And we love it because we know you've made some designs for us already, like the adorable Ghost Loft jean jacket that we showed during the Die to Try launch so and cute. the intro of the show. And also one of our new favorites, the Go Groovy Circles pillow cover for the Go Signature Circle die. So <laughs> that one actually is my favorite of all the designs because oh, I'm you. old enough to remember lava lamps. Yes. And they look just like it. And I love that you can just change the colorway and it changes. So, but can you share your process for designing patterns for us? Sure. So a lot of times I start with a hand drawing and ideas that I draw from the environment or something that caught my eye, a design, or you know, if I'm out traveling. And what I do is I take that and I'll start to draw the idea. Then I'll start to consider colors or the size oh. of the project, come up with you know the scale of the that project, how big yeah. it is or how small it is. Um, then I'll take it and put it into my computer software. I use a CAD program, computer-aided CAD program, Affinity. And I use that so then I can actually draw it to scale and put it on something like, you know, a, a jacket or, you know, a shirt or a bag or whatever it may be, a quilt. And then I can add the colors or the fabrics that I think are going to match well with it. So wow, wow. it takes me a little bit to get there, but I really enjoy the process and it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of play, you know, with yeah, different colors right. and things. Well, that's fascinating. And would you consider yourself uh, like a modern quilter? I think so. I think Just I'm more of a modern quilter. Color wise. Um, you know, because I do use sometimes, I love a lot of whimsy uh, with color, but I also love sometimes where I'm using larger motifs with things. Oh, or, sure. Um, I may use a traditional shape, but then I may change it with how I'm using it or the colors I'm using, you know, or oh, the yeah. negative space. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, and I'm loving the quilt behind you. Yes. I keep looking oh. at it. What is it made of? So this one is cotton. Um, and how cute this one, that is, Erica. Isn't that adorable? No. So, and this one here is called, it's called my black and roll. It's an easy beginner pattern. And the nice thing about it is that I also use strips from AccuQuilt, the strip dies, the three inch, the two inch and the four inch. So it makes it really quick and easy to make this and it's a beginner quilt. So they oh, come together great. well, all you're doing is just turning the blocks left or right, up and down oh, and yeah. oh, put it fun. together. So okay. it's great. We might have to get that. We pattern. might have to. Okay. I love that. <laughs> All right, so now along with this sloth jean jacket, which we love, yes. um, quilters could definitely upcycle an older denim jacket for it. But are there other ways you like to upcycle your projects? I do. I also like to take older clothes that may have you know, a hole or something in it, and then I can add to it and change it and make it new again. I also may take something from my wardrobe that I've already had and change that and personalize it. So going to a thrift store or just shopping your, your closet Shop is perfect. Closet. And you just go in and you get something and make it new again. For instance, I thought I wanted to make something, you know, cute for the show. So I took this shirt that I had and I added a purple sloth to On it. The so, pocket. You know, so with little cute. hands and whatnot in the pocket. So he's peeking out, but it's, personalized and it also gives you know no one else is going to have it and that. it makes it mine but it also gives it you know a little flair and fun so yeah using a lot of the dyes you can do that and change and add applique and just update or right. do something that's different than what someone else has you could totally do that like on a bag that had a, a pocket too. Yes. Oh yeah, peeking out of the pocket on, uh, on a bag. Hey, you're brilliant. Okay, well we gotta ask the question. You know it's coming. Do you have a favorite go dye to use in your projects? I do, I have a couple, you know, so it's so hard to choose, but I have um, one, I do love the little sloth dye, of course, yes. and I also love the EPP dye. So um, ah. for instance, I like the, the hexi, and you know I've got some hexies that I've been working on here, but it's really nice because for me, it's a time saver. 
cut out the paper portion to support your to support your EPP and then also cut out the fabric and then you're folding around it and it just goes so quickly. Right. And you're getting to the sewing part, which is what a lot of people like to do when you're gonna hand sew as well. So you get to do that quick and cut out your pieces and then get going on your project. I love it. I love it. Okay. Now, without giving any details and secrets away, are you working on any other new patterns for AccuQuilt? I am. I'm working on an EPP pattern, and it will be coming out soon. Good. And um, you'll be looking forward to seeing it pretty soon. Uh, maybe something holiday-ish or fun with colors that mm. um, you'll like mm. to use upcoming, which will be nice. Mm. And you're also doing some patterns for an upcoming upcoming Die to Try for next year, right? Yes, and that will also be coming out. So I've been working with AccuQuilt and you guys at AccuQuilt, and I've really had a lot of fun with it. So there's going to be something with the dye to try that you're going to see coming out too with designs. And all of those designs are on the website, which is great. When you yeah. go on, you just find them quickly, you download them, and you have all the information you right. need with the right. dye, the dye numbers, and colors of fabric, you know, suggestions of what you need and sizes. So it's great. I love it. Now you had a picture to share every share with everybody. It's so cute. Let me see. So back in March, I went on a cruise and I went to Honduras and I did get to hold a sloth. So <gasps> no this little way. guy he's smiling with me and um, very sweet, very docile. But they do have very, very sharp claws. So like the dye where it shows the sharp claws. Yeah. Yeah. They do have sharp claws, but they they don't, you know, they don't try to, they just hold on. So right, right. Um, it's what they do. So it was a lot. It was a very Honduras and hold a, sloth. hold a sloth. Yeah, okay. it was fun. Well, how can everybody keep up with your quilting journey? So you can follow me on Instagram at Brianna Roberts 71. Um, or you can follow me at Facebook, uh, which is so cute and quirky, or my website, quirkyb.com. So I can be found at all those places, and you'll constantly see new things I'm doing and a lot of all the different projects that I'm starting and working on. Yeah, so quirky. I love that. So cute and quirky. Be sure and follow Brianna. Hey, thank you so much for joining us today. It's so fun to meet you and hear yes. all of your great ideas. Thank you, ladies. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Okay. I am so glad we got to see her. But holding that sloth, super cute. Did you see and how furry it was? You forget how, like, yes. I'm not, like, friends with any sloths. So not lately, how, I haven't. How, how fuzzy other and than teenagers they are. Yeah, <laughs> other than teenagers. Oh, she's terrific. Be sure and follow her on all of her social media platforms. It's going to be fun to see. That's right. All right. Well, inspired by that, let's give away a go sloth die to a lucky viewer who registered for the show. I love that idea. All right, quilters, our first lucky winner of a ghost sloth die is, drum roll, please. <laughs> Janet M. of New Hall, California. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, now we mentioned it during our discussion with Brianna, but we want to know, quilters, what is your favorite type of clothing to upcycle, recycle, or embellish? Uh, let us know in the comment section wherever you stream our show. So do you have something that you like to well, upcycle? I like to do, I mean, with the with grandkids, previously my children's, but now with grandkids, I love to like cover up things, you know, those things oh, that holes. happen, like holes because there are three boys. Right. Or stains because again, there are three boys. Yeah, that's a good um, idea. With a little a little something something. Yeah. You know, just extend the life a little bit more, yeah. right? Yeah. I like to for Oakley like I've done a few jackets for her where mm -hmm. we've had like when the emojis die oh, relaunched, yes. I made cute little emojis Those on jackets her jackets. Are cute. Bags are another thing I like to embellish. And I love the idea of just making it look out the pocket. Yeah, that's really clever. All right. One of the great things about our applique dies is that it makes it so easy to personalize your projects. You can quickly and easily add shapes like our cute little sloth to things like quilts and wall hangings, but clothing like jean jackets like Brianna made. And yes, we know what you're going to say, Erica. Tea, Tea towels. towels. Yep. You joke. But seriously, how quick is that to put together either for yourself or as a gift? And you quickly have such a professional looking product. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So our applique dies make applique such an easy 
process. You saw us cut all those pieces, all four little little claw, yes. toe claws at the same time, makes it so easy to embellish projects with those. And especially some from our new favorite projects, which are made from Quilt As You Go kits by June Taylor. Oh yes. Like, we've been talking about totes, the Alexandra tote, oh, right? Oh, this one is true. Okay, okay. so uh, we happen to have one here that we, we here in the studio that we made. We do. And then we're gonna talk about how the look goes. So, so here's the tote. Look at how Here's the Alexandra tote. It's made with two and a half inch strips. I wonder if there's a die for that. Oh, I believe there is. Yes. But think about building your little sloth on there. Look, and it's great inside, and you can yeah. put all your stuff and things in yeah, there. It's a great size. Okay. All right. So here's what it looks like when you get started, right, Pam? Right. So it's the printed batting, and it's kind of like a sew by numbers. It is. So, it is. And so what you're going to do is... Um, I'm getting ahead of myself. Yes, though, you are. You this up. I did. All right. So this is start savvy, and this is what you're going to spray on your fabric before you cut it into strips. Right. And it's going to help just keep it really nice and tight as it goes. It's going to give it some good body, mm -hmm. and it's going to, we'll show you as we go how we're going to work. Right. And we've already sprayed on the back the basting spray. Yes. And um, you want, we have some videos on our website yes. that you can watch. And then notice how then we have already stitched it down. Right, and that's in the instructions. That's yeah. important to note that there are great pattern instructions. So right. the next thing would be to take your starched fabric and sub cut it, cut it into your strips, whether you're using the two and a half inch strip die, a uh, shape jelly cut ruler, rolls. a jelly roll, a jelly roll or just a jelly rule a or, jelly rule you know, or a jelly or donut toast. or yes. whatever. Um, Subcut it according to the directions inside the right. Then you're going to take your strips and here's number one. Right. So we're going to take our, 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 num our first piece and lay it down. Yep. And we're going to use, I like to use the, the fabric okay. glue stick for that. Yep. Just to make sure that first piece is down and secure. Just a little bit of it. Because then you're gonna put take piece number two. Now don't anybody panic because these lines are placement lines and they're gonna be our guidelines. We're gonna lay this along that that guideline right. and sew our perfect quarter inch seam. And then we're gonna be able to open it up and I bet the next Yes, it's gonna look fabulous. It's gonna look fabulous. So we'll show you what that looks like. So when we lay that down and sew our quarter inch seam, then we can open it up and it's gonna hit right along that placement line. This is our seam wand. And you're just gonna come run it down here and it's like a little pressing, like a clapper. Yeah, it's kind of like, it just, it'll help give you that crease. You don't wanna press this until all your fabric is sewn on so you don't distort it. Yes, and then you're gonna come here and you're gonna sew piece number three. three, and you're gonna follow the instructions. Again, quarter inch from this blue line. Right. And you're gonna lay it open. And we're just gonna and keep you're just going, going like going. that. So we're gonna keep going. You can see, right. keep going just like this one's gonna right. be now over here. Yep, and you're gonna follow the numbers. If you can count to 26, you can make this project. Uh, 31. 31. Then you can make this project. There you go. And then, once you get all those strips done, then it starts getting exciting because then you're gonna start doing the same thing with the side pieces. Right. And this is really how you create that design, right? Right. right. And here's kind of a fun fact. If you wanted to, you could use uh, six inch wide strips and instead of three, right. two and inch. and cover yeah. more of them. Right. That's right. And then we're just gonna keep going and follow the directions till you get to your unfinished bag. Now this is gonna, when we put it together, it's gonna be folded like this. And this is at the point where you wanna go ahead and put your applique on it. Right. Um, whether it's a sloth or yes. whoever, let's, oh. Our, our table moved. Um, a lot. <laughs> Are we okay? <laughs> okay. So here, look how cute. Oh, that brown, it really pops on this. Yeah, I lost one of his cheeks. There it is. Okay. 
So then you would applique these on before you sold. Before you sewed it all together. Right. It also comes, your kit also comes with, it's really cool how the, the um, straps. straps go together. So the straps are actually a two level process. I've got all the pieces here. You do. But it comes with webbing and you're gonna cut a strip, follow the directions again, cover that with your fabric. Mm -hmm. And then it has the batting, you're gonna cover that with fabric. Those are gonna go together and get sewn together so that you create this two level handle that's gonna be padded, so it's gonna be a lot heavier. If you have a lot of heavy things in there, it's just gonna be a lot more comfortable. And you could use two different colors here. You could just make both handles different, mm -hmm. super fast and easy. And then it takes you together. It's gonna tell you how to sew the box bottom. Oh, we learned about box bottoms We've just the other day all with about our it. good friend Carolina Moore. And then Moore. of course we had our finished bag that you snuck over there. I do. So again, like I said, if you wanna put an applique on there and personalize it, be sure you do that before you put it together. Now, as for finishing off that applique, you've got plenty of choices. If you've got an embroidery machine, you can use some of our free outline stitch, stitch options. We've got satin stitch, motif stitch, and blanket stitch. But if you don't have an embroidery machine, you can use any decorative stitch off your machine. You can even use just a straight stitch inside the raw edge. And we're gonna talk more about embroidery in just a minute. But for right now, let's give away another die. Oh, all righty. Quilters, our second lucky winner of a Go Sloth die is, drum roll please. It's Miriam M. from St. Louis, Missouri. Congratulations, Congratulations Miriam. All right, we promised more embroidery talk, so let's get started. Okay. Okay, so in addition to the free downloadable machine embroidery, embroidery that we have for all of our non-designer shapes, we also have some creative designs available for purchase and download on the site. So let's take a look at our sloth embroidery options. So our, 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 Here's free, our free stitches. So you really get bonus for this die because we've got two sets of free stitches for a sloth. We have a sitting up set and we have a laying down set. Yeah, I don't know why our sloth would sit. but And our sloth like is right. on a branch that comes from our stems and leaves die. Look at that. So it's going to just super stitch cute. out all of the super fun pieces. So these are free embroidery files available at AccuQuilt.com. You just go to the die, open it up, and it will have embroidery choices. You choose the format for your machine and download which way you go. We've okay. got plenty of videos showing you the applique process and the embroidery process, but wait till you see some of these. Okay, this is our Go Fall Sloth embroidery by our good friends at Specialty Designs. And look, he's holding the pumpkin from the Go Pumpkins die. Go. And he's wearing a little hat from the, I think that's Holiday Medley. Holiday Medley. No, no. Accessories. No. Holiday accessories. Yeah, holiday accessories. I stand corrected. There we go. Look at how cute that is. Next up, we've got the Go Sloth Set Embroidery Designs by V-Stitch. Are all, all of these? Yes. Oh, you know what? I'm missing one. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Right. It's okay. So all of these except for the bottom one. Yes. Look at how cute these are, too. Mm -hmm. So again, I like the little branch. Yes. And then that you just embroidered the leaves. This and look at the heart. It has a little heart. We've got yep, one more we over one there. More. Then we've got our Go Mom and Baby Sloth embroidery. Look at how cute this is. And this again is by V-Stitch. And somehow I've missed the Go Sloth's favorite costumes embroidery design. So you'll have to check out the website check to find Check out the website those. and see. Now, if you're a regular viewer of our shows, you know that we kind of love Halloween around here. So. <laughs> So, so much. In that spirit, we want to share some of the brand new Halloween embroidery designs that we we are so excited about. Okay, first up is the Go Skeleton Cat Embroidery uh, by Specialty Designs. Look at this. Okay, this. That is hilarious. <laughs> so this is the uh, Calico Cat. Yes. Made into a cat skeleton. That I will never see again as the calico cat. It will forever be a skeleton. Isn't forever. that? Forever. Forever. OK. 
Okay. Now next we've got the Go Haunted House embroidery. This is also by Specialty look. Designs. This is our Go Birdhouse die. It is. And look, there's a spider know, hanging. The we've got eyeballs mm -hmm. sticking out the windows. I love it. All right. I love it. Good job, team. This, this next one. We, we are hard pressed to pick a favorite on yeah. this. Yeah. Here is the Go Vampire Penguin embroidery. Is he not is hilarious? He's the cutest. He is hilarious. I like him a lot. And the bow tie is from the Cookie Accessories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at how cute he is. Absolutely adorable. I feel like we should have a whole collection of vampire penguins. Yes. Now, next up, we've got the Go Haunted Birdhouse because. Uh, specialty designs it likes Halloween as much as we they, do. They really do. And look, the spider webs with the spiders. But look, the monster the out of the... one-eyed monster coming out of the chimney. It's the best. I can't pick all my favorites. Now, this one is the Go Spooky Night Embroidery. This would be great on a sweatshirt, wouldn't it? Oh, my gosh, yes. Or in a trick-or-treat bag. A trick-or-treat bag. Blow in the dark fabric. The circle. Do you know where that circle comes from, Pam? The oh, the emoji sty. The emoji sty. That's right. Okay. This next one. Oh my gosh. This is the Go Flamingo Mummy embroidery by Specialty Design. For the love. I love it. Okay. Okay. Our team, our embroidery does Specialty Designs. The, you did a great job here. They did. That is hilarious. Isn't that a riot? Mm -hmm. You can see the little tag ends hanging off. But wait. There's, there's more. There's more. Because then V-Stitch must have been channeling the same idea and came up with the Go Witchy Flamingo embroidery. And this is so detailed. Oh my gosh, it has the witch legs on it. The and stockings. A spider, and we got bats, and a moon, a wart. See, look, you a could wart. just make flocks Elf. of flamingos. In costume. In costume. It's fabulous. I love it. Next up, we've got the Go Masked Cat embroidery design. So this is from Cat and Bat. Yes. And as such, we have bats flying about. Yes. I love the little stripes on yes. the tail and the mask. Yeah, and the spider web. Off to a mask ball. Okay, this one, this Listen, one might be my favorite. Just make a whole, whole thing of animals a whole in quilt. costume. Yeah. Yes. Okay. This one, I absolutely, this, I think I love. Well, you know how I am about yes. little things. This is the Go Ghostly Costume Embroidery by V-Stitch. This is the gnome hat. Yeah, it's super teeny. It's, it's so like three cute. inches tall. And this little teeny tiny candy corn. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's super fun. And it, it needs to go trick-or-treating here. This is the Go Creepy Haunted Small House Embroidery by oh. V-Stitch Design. And that's Raiko Keiko's little small house. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And just like um, specialty, they had a beware and the windows were it's so cute. I like this one a lot. And then I found one more, so I brought it along. Wait, even has though this it been released? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we did that last week. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> it's been a minute. This is the Go <laughs> Witchy Gnome. And she's got her braids from the new gnome accessories die that's what i was making sure we had released we did last week and then candy we've corn. got little candy corn and bats hanging i love the broom i love her shoes oh my goodness i love her shoes all the Just things all the things listen it's you still have plenty of time to get ready for halloween oh absolutely and all of these embroidery designs make my quilting heart so happy but we also have some fun uh, projects to share in the trunk show, don't we? We do, we do. And we should we get new started. Embroidery. Oh, okay, we should get let's start it. Now, the first one was hang has been hanging over your head. It has. This is the Ghost Sloth Mobile. Mobile? Mobile. Mobile. Uh, by Marianne Fontana of Fontana Originals. And they're super cute. They're just, it's all felt and hot glue. Yeah. Look at how cute that is. Super cute. I like that one. The next one we've got is the, where did they go? Oh, they're over by you. Oh, oh my gosh, I don't know how to move do this. Them. Brock moved them from my side to Pam's side. Okay. This is the Go Sloth Party Wall Hanging. It's by Jennifer Fulton of Inquiring Quilter. And Jennifer is one of our new designers and look at how cute that is. I love the color palette she's yes. used because it's, it's not what you think of as brown or gray little 
creatures. Oh, They're peach and pink and lavender and, and... And then here's Erica's new favorite color. Yes, hey, Has aqua. Pantone given us the color of the year yet? Well, I think that's one of them, isn't it? I don't know. We'll ask the Gibney. Okay. This one is super fun. It's by our good friend Stephanie Jacobson of Steph Jacobson Designs. It's called the Go Cuddlebugs Baby Quilt. And Steph really, really, truly so was so clever. So we're going to have to clever. take a minute because she's made this with the pieces from the sloth die. Right? So, like, here's the body and the head. And then remember how I said I bet we can come up with yes. lots of things for the smile? Way to go, she Steph. Cut off the center claw for the little pincher there. Yeah. And a dragonfly, we've got just built They're out of up. a nose and, and paws. Here's that oval giving us the hungry caterpillar down there. Look at how cute that is. We got a butterfly and it's just so cute. And then look at the back. Stephanie had some extra pieces left over so she just made a cute little Order in the I middle. I love a good pieced back. And it's thick, Steph. I wonder what kind of batting she used. It's nice it and is thick. thick. For babies. Mm -hmm. Or Eric and I to on nap. the floor. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Would we do that, Pam? <laughs> All right. The next one we've talked about, we've shown you. This is the Ghost Sloth Jean Jacket by Brianna Roberts, who was just on the show from So Cute and Quirky. She used Benetrix fabric. She did. And then Rick Rack. That Giant, yeah, huge, chunky rick rick rack really, really makes it, and it, it finishes the edges so well. I really like this. I like it a it's lot. Waving, hello, sloth. Hello, sloth. Okay. Okay. Next up, we have. It's right here in front of me on the set. This is the Go Read and Nap Reading Pillow. It's by Melanie Call of A Bit of Scrap Stuff. Okay, Melanie did such a great job with this. Oh, she did. She used Riley Blake fabric. She used our classic two-inch alphabet and numbers and symbols die. Right. And then our sloth. And oh, it's so It cute. has a pocket in the front for... And it has a handle yeah, on top. It has top. a pocket so and a handle. So ones can... You can stick your books in the front. You can grab it by your handle and toddle off for reading time. Hey, Melanie, it. will you make one that matches that says eat and quilt? And then we can have read eat, and nap. Quilt, read. Eat, no, she can. I can have two different pillows. Oh, okay. Yeah, eat and quilt, read and nap. Read and nap. They, they kind of go together like that. All right, we were talking about flexibility and versatility of the shapes on this die. Here's the go, Animals on Parade Wall Hanging by Marianne Fontana of Fontana Originals. And this was part of the original launch, but it's so cute. Because look, she has like the donkey and the frog. I love this one, but yeah. the chick. I think maybe the chick, the chick is, is my favorite. Super cute. With the little the little paws to be the fuzz yeah. on top. Yeah. The lion is super cute. The lion's down here. And again, really great way to look at a die and say, oh, I can make other shapes with it. Right. So get your craft foam out, get your felt out, get some little ones together and let them have some creative fun with that. Now the next one we've got is our Go Baby Sloth Throw Quilt. It's by Susie Webster of Webster Quilts. And this oh. is so cute. Sorry. Laying down. There we go. Laying down, there we go. Okay. <gasps> and this is using a cube. Yep, she must have used the 12 inch cube for that six inch square in the center. Here, I can tell you. I think, I was gonna say, I think it's bigger than that. Mix and match, eight inch cube. She made a 12 inch block from the eight inch cube. And oh, then she look used at that. Eight inch squares. Yeah. I look at how fun that is. And then just, I mean, so it's basically four giant blocks, mm -hmm. sashing, cornerstone in the cornerstone in the center, and a border. How simple is that? It's a weekend project. I like it a lot. I do too. All right. And then the last one is <laughs> what just really good advice for all people. It is. Go Hang In Their Wall Hanging by Christina Brinkerhoff of Center Street Quilts. And this is cute. It's a little wall hanging, but you could make it a pillow for a teenager's room. Table topper. Table topper, super cute. Whatever you want. I love it for a little wall hanging, though. Yeah, I think it's cute. All of these patterns are available as free downloads from the AccuQuilt website. Be sure to download your patterns before your die arrives so you'll be all ready to go.
All right, it's time to check the fabric mailbox. She's already taken off, I didn't even say it. So excited. That we can see what our friends from Dear Stella have provided for us to give away. That's the key word here, give away. Oh, so we don't forget to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, because okay. sometimes I forget. <laughs> okay, you ready? Da, da, da. Are we gonna love it? S you are gonna just covet this. Look at this. They are <gasps> flannels. Flannels Dear with that peachy Stella. pink. I know, you gray. like it. And rainbows oh, and, and stars. There is a sloth. Mm -hmm. Look. I see look, him. Look, look. The sloth over the it's rainbow. Like Greg. Oh, hi, oh. Greg. Greg's our oh camera guy. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. These are so adorable. And they're flannel. They're flannel, baby girl. Oh, so Stella, you did so good, oh, Miss Dear, dear Stella. Oh, dear Stella. <laughs> so cute. These are absolutely adorable. Such a contemporary we palette. We very seldom give away flannels. These are just These are delightful. Excited. And you know what? Your dyes are going to cut it beautifully. You're going to make gorgeous projects with yep. it. All right, they say we have to give it away. That's okay. true. All right. The winner of the first selection of fabric is, drum roll please. Pat B of Missoula, Montana. I feel like Pat will Congratulations, want Pat. it in flannel. Yes, yes. Erica, this is so bright. I know, I know. All right, the second winner of a selection of fabrics is, drum roll please. Anita A from Wimama, Florida. There you go, congratulations. If I said that wrong, I'm sorry. Huge shout out to Dear Stella for sponsoring today's show. Our quilters are gonna love making their sloth projects with this fabric. Indeed, they are. Oh yes, so much, so much. All right, quilters, the time has come. Now we asked you earlier in the show, what kind of clothing you like to upcycle, recycle, or embellish, and it's time to look at what you said. Uh, Debbie B says blue jeans. Oh yeah, that's yeah. fun, that's yeah. fun. Barbara R. said jackets and sweatshirts. Sweatshirts are really right popular. There. You can get them so inexpensive yeah. and just add such cute things. Uh, Becky likes to do kids' shirts after they've been tie-dyed. Oh, that's a good idea, That's clever. Becky. So I let like your that. let your little people tie-dye their shirts. Yes. Jean ja Anita A. S Annette A. says jean jackets and plain t-shirts. Again, great choices. Mm -hmm. Get the whole outfit there. Um, uh, Jane says anything denim. <laughs> I love it. So I like like denim skirts and, yeah, and yeah. overalls and stuff for yeah. kids. Um, oh, Joanne, woman after our own heart, thrift store buys. Yeah, that's a great she idea. Was not, because that opens up to, I mean, it might be a thrift store basket or a thrift oh, store yes. bag or yes. a thrift store whatever. That's a great idea. Nancy A uses old blanks old blankets and mix them into new ones. That's a great idea. That is a good idea. Uh, Karen G says make shorts out of old pants. That makes so much sense, especially when you have little ones around who are growing very quickly and they're not growing this way, they're just growing yeah. this way. Yeah, and their little short pants are so bad. <laughs> they're so short. Uh, Carrie W likes to make sh uh, jackets or tote bags. And lots of people, lots of you said denim. Um, so I'm with you there. I, I think so. Um, so um, my oldest son, Taylor, um, who lives here in town, he called me a couple of days ago and he said, mom. So already you know. Already she knows. She's, he said, listen, I need you to sew the sleeve on my sweatshirt. It had come unsewn. And I said, really, truly? And he goes, I know, I know you make quilts, but could you do this for a minute? I said, sure. And then almost for a hot minute, I almost applied something onto that sweatshirt. Oh. I did not. But mm. I was really you tempted. Were seriously tempted. Mm -hmm. Just like on his sleeve, like a little spider or yeah. something. Just this week, as a matter of fact, I got the Grammy Can You uh -huh. Fix a Pocket on a hoodie. Yeah, yeah. Which I did. So, all right, quilters, we have tons of great deals for you available on our website. That's right, we do. To get your order in, open a new tab in your browser, type in accuquilt.com party. It'll take you to the site and see the offers, place your orders. 
And don't forget, you can always check your local retailer to see if you can grab some AccuQuote products there. Speaking of retailers, Speaking of retailers. Uh, the lovely Eric and I will be traveling um, on Sunday. We're going to Wisconsin That's to right. Waukesha, Wisconsin. Yes. So while we're in Wisconsin, because Tuesday we're going to be in Elkhorn, Wisconsin at, at Arrow. Arrow. Riding but, on our chairs. But Monday. <laughs> <laughs> but Monday, race. or so we think, um, Monday afternoon, we're going to be at so much more in Waukesha. So if you want to come see Eric and I live, call the shop, and um, they're doing all the details. We'd love to see you. We're going to talk about our Go products and cubes and bobs. It's going to be a great time. Yeah, and give them a call quick, because I think they were filling up their class really yeah. quickly. So the other thing we want to mention is... We've got a dye to try of the month, don't we? Yes, that's why we brought it yes, up here. Yes, we brought it over so here. So this is the English paper piecing uh, gold, uh, uh, gold jewel petal, metal. right? And this is our you dye to try. You could make it in gold. You could. Mm -hmm. It's um, our dye to try for the month of October. And we've had a couple of really great shows on how to cut pieces with this. Our new favorite thing to use instead of cardstock is wash away um, stabilizer. Yes. And we have learned so much about it. And it has a quarter inch seam allowance built in. I'm actually working on some little samples um, that I'll show, yeah. but super cute. So if you wanna know more about English paper piecing or using this, check out the videos. Um, Belle Bruner's been with us a couple of times sharing her English paper piecing knowledge. She has such a plethora of knowledge. That's right, it's super fun. All right, quilters, it's so good to have you here. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching our show. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel and look for live events every Tuesday and Wednesday. You can visit the events page on AccuQuilt's website for more details on upcoming shows. And while you're there, check out the blog for tips, tricks, tutorials, and inspiration galore. And remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Be sure to join me every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live. We have tons of fun. Tomorrow, Eric and I will be sewing more and sharing finishing tips for the go dart around the glorified nine patch row quilt. And join us every Tuesday at 12 noon Central Time for launch parties and truck shows. Next time, we've got that very special show coming to you live from Elkhorn, Wisconsin. We can't wait for you to join us.